Welcome to the second session in the video series, An Introduction to Land Administration. My name is Tabo Fogani. I am with the Alliance for Rural Democracy. In the next three videos, we focus on land administration as a system, and we begin unpacking the various elements and components of land administration. Hi, I'm Simon Hull, and I'm at the University of Cape Town's Division of Geomatics. In this section, we're going to focus on the hierarchy of land policy, management, and administration. In the next session, we will focus on the overarching elements of land governance and land information. Hello, I'm Dr. Rosalie Kingwell. Um, I'm a research associate at the Institute for Policy, Land, and Agrarian Studies um, at the University of the Western Cape. Um, I'm also um, a member of LandNest. In this video, we introduce the concept of the land administration system, along with the elements that make up the system. In the second video, we will focus on, a land, on land policy, followed by land management. Land management is often confused with land administration. And people often use them interchangeably as if they're the same idea, but they're not the same. In the third video, we will home in on land administration and its functions. But what is a system? And what makes a land administration system distinct from land administration? The easiest way to think about a system is that it is a whole built up from distinct and interacting parts. We say that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. A good example is a car. It comprises multiple parts that on their own will not perform the purpose of a vehicle that moves from point A to point B. Land administration similarly involves many parts that on their own will not perform the aims of land governments according to policy objectives. A car is made up of many components. It has wheels, doors, windows, fuel, a driver, an engine, etc. If you take a car apart and spread out all these components on a big field, it would look very impressive, but it wouldn't be a car. Group them all together in a big pile, and you have a big pile of parts, the sum of the parts. But it's still not a car, and it's not very useful. But put all the components together properly, and you have a car. This is of far more value than a pile of scrap. It's a means of getting from A to B. It can be a status symbol uh, for a student. It might represent freedom and economic opportunity. The whole is greater than the sum of all the parts. Okay, Simon. So it is the same then with the land administration system. The elements in the system must work together to achieve the goals that are set in land policies and the strategies that are set in land management. Land administration is the implementing vehicle that rides on the wheels of the different interacting components. Correct. So land administration systems provide a country with an infrastructure for implementing land policies and land management strategies in support of sustainable development. Okay. So now we're going to provide an alternative visualization um, of the land administration system. We're going to show it as a house. The land policy is the roof of the house, while the components of land administration are the supporting pillars. These pillars are land tenure, land value, land use, land development, and conflict resolution. The cadastral and land information systems make up the foundation of the building and thus they hold up the entire system. We will discuss each of these components in the forthcoming sessions, but for now, I think the important point is to, um, that we need to manage land effectively and fairly, then the various elements must fit together so that the policies flow through to the strategies and the implementation based on the different dimensions of how humans relate to land that is how they hold land, measure land, value land, use land, and develop land. 